Back to the exhaust. So this is what we're thinking coming out with a tailpipe like this. We are sticking with the 17 inch body from Tycon and then the little bullet muffler. It's like a 10 inch muffler, six inches diameter. Actually it's four inches diameter, but that does a good job. The car, truck, whatever you want to call it, is actually quieter than I was expecting. So this is staying. We're going to come out here and do a tip. Actually staggered looks good. Slash cut looks good either way. I'm good with either one of those. And then we'll polish just the edge of this, blue it a little bit, kind of give it the dead ringer titanium. Do the, uh, do the Australian sport truck. That's what they do? Yeah. On one side? Yeah, remember like the GTOs too when they first came here, they had to do a lot one side? Yeah. That's like the Australian thing. We did an 84 Camaro like that. We did two mufflers here, but we did them both out of one side to kind of make it look a little bit more modern. Okay, so the kids are off school, which means Esther isn't here. She couldn't secure childcare for the summer. I think she's gonna be in here for the month of July. So bear with us, we're doing our best. Uh, this is after hours right now. We keep joking about being Alaska, but I think it's daytime in Alaska right now. So we're back on this, but just keep in mind the people that are already booked in, nothing is changing. We're giving those guys 100%. If you can't get us on the phone, trouble emailing us again, just bear with us, we're doing our best. 100% of our efforts are always the car sitting on the ground. Once you come in, you get 100% undivided attention. Sometimes we have to put a ringing phone on hold to work on the car that's here, because this is your car. Well, it's not yours, but this could be your car. If you look straight down, it kind of disappears, which the bumper sticks out and the fender sticks out, but that's got enough visible amount and it goes with the body line. This is kind of like the look I wanted. And obviously as you start to crawl around here, it still looks like a dual. If you ever look at aftermarket exhaust, it tends to split into a dual right at the back. So from here, it looks like a regular exhaust. As you go underneath, you get to see that split. So that's exactly what I wanted that's the look so I think we take that off give it a clean give it a weld and we'll do a little bit of blue in on the tips without being too obnoxious but it will kind of pick up this look so it's kind of debatable do I blue them or do we powder coat them like we did these bars I mean it was kind of a shame to powder coat such gorgeous titanium bars but they didn't go with the theme of the truck and it looked kind of odd but you don't see too much of that so I think we leave We'll do this blue and maybe do a light polish on the inside. The car probably runs pretty clean. We'll have to kind of circle back around, but it has catalytic converters and it's fairly factory tuned and all the emission devices are on it. So these will probably stay clean. So possibly we'll do a polish on the inside and it might offset the blue here. So that should be pretty good. Our mailman. Hey buddy. Hello. So that's the plan. I think that will work. What do you think? On the exhaust, just to show you that it's like completely straight through. You know, a lot of mufflers have louvers and chambers. Well, I was gonna roll my drink down it, but I have a feeling it gets stuck. And then we have to cut it apart to get my drink out of it. It probably gets stuck over here too. This is our Y section. But other than that, it's completely straight through. This is the type of thing that you gotta go through to weigh an exhaust. We've got the biggest ladder in the shop, the shortest guy in the shop. This would have been a good job for, for me, really. Yeah. So it's off the ground. I don't even see it. 11.5. Uh, That's pretty good, right? He should store it on there. Does it really? I yeah. thought I said 11. It, it oh, that's, 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 that's internet. No, that looks like an 11 to me. What do you think, guys? Yeah. What do you think, guys? I see 11, 11.5. Always like to do a weigh-in. So basically 33. It's bouncing around 33 pounds at 11. So that is the muffler just as we took it off the way it bolted on. This was the section that was right over the axle. We kind of cut it there. So it wouldn't be <laughs> It hit us for a big thing like that with a big muffler in the middle. 17 and a half pounds for an exhaust. I mean, look at that. Can you do the finger test when you like balance it on your finger? And then, then drop it on the floor. Is this the hot part? No, there shouldn't be a hot part. 
I was gonna say, it's not like me to pick up the one part that you just finished welding and like burn my hand on it. I mean, how many exhausts can you pick up like this and turn it? That is impressive. So the extra weight of the V8, if it does weigh anything extra, whatever the two cylinders weigh, I think we just offset it with this. That's true, we're saving weight right there. That is impressive. All right, let me get a thumbnail for this thing and then we'll bolt it out and get another sound clip so if it changed at all, having the two outlets. Look at that, blue. Ooh. But the dual outlet might make it sound a little different. No, it doesn't change it at all, which is good. So even in my garage, first thing in the morning, I leave the house at like seven. It's quiet, doesn't wake up the house. Nobody's like uh, annoyed with me vibrating the neighborhood, which is good. The GMC wasn't terrible, but if I ever drove the Corvette home, Oh yeah, the neighbors hated that thing starting up in the morning. Now I say they hated it, they used to compliment me on how loud it was and tell me about it, but... Look at the polish on it. You got it right on the inside a little bit? Is it blue on the inside? If you step back you have like a half moon and a half moon of blue? Yeah. So it blew the inside just as well as the outside. That is awesome, isn't it? So it's actually got a little sound when you stand right here. Yeah, got some nice clean water coming out of there. Another reason you shouldn't monkey around with your cats. If you can make the power with the cats, leave them on. You don't have the smell, you don't have the extra noise. And the Put the window down. Can't even hear it. That is impressive. It's better than it was now that it actually isn't getting lost under the truck. Is it? Yeah. Hear it, but it's not. I mean, there's 2500 RPMs. Yeah. From here, all you hear is the engine. 